In this video, I'm going to share with you uh, 10 tips to help you run a faster 5K. Over the years, these are things that I've applied that have helped me. Um, however, if you're already an elite runner, if you can run a 5K in under 20 minutes, um, click out of this video, go watch one of my other ones. Uh, you probably don't need to listen. But if you're a beginning runner or someone that's not happy with your running time, um, take a look at these 10 tips and see which ones you can apply to do better. Okay, number one is not really a hack or a tip, but it's just some common sense. You got to build on this. You got to practice running. Uh, you need to put in some time practicing, getting the endurance, the cardiovascular conditioning in, but you can't skip the foundation. You can't just wing it when you show up at a 5K. It helps a lot when you've put in the preparation. All right, number two is to warm up. Uh, for years, I would go to races and just stand there and watch people that they were jogging around and sprinting and doing stretches, dynamic movements and things getting ready. And I think, man, that's stupid. They're wasting all their energy. Whereas I would just sit there for 15 minutes at the starting line before cold and then go. But uh, warming up will get your body prepared and get ready. Muscles warm and pliable. So uh, that's a smart move, especially if you're prone to injury. It's good to warm up your body beforehand instead of just starting from a cold start. Number three is an important one is that is to get enough rest prior to your race. Um, a lot of times people will stay up super late or they'll be working hard or they'll be training too hard and have a hard workout the day before a race. It's good to scale back, let your body relax and recover so you can be at top uh, peak performance and rested when it's time to run a race. Number four is to fuel your body. I know a lot of 5Ks, most of them are held early in the morning, um, and some people are used to just getting up and working out on an empty stomach or just going out to burn calories. But when you're running to compete and you wanna get a PR or do your best, then it's important that you have fuel. So I advise people get up a couple hours beforehand and eat breakfast, um, to have time to start digesting the food. So for a pre-run meal, I prefer things like uh, toast and jam, bagels, yogurt, fruit, um, cereal, those sort of things are going to digest a lot quicker and you're not going to have, if you eat a lot of protein and fat and fiber, you're going to have stomach issues. Um, stick with something you know that works that your body's used to. You don't ever want to just try new things right before a race. Okay, tip number five is to stay hydrated. Uh, a 5k race is not very long. Most people are not going to be dehydrated from a 5k. It's only three miles. However, um, the main thing you want to make sure is don't show up dehydrated. So hydration starts the day before. Make sure you've had something to drink beforehand. Anytime you compete doing anything and you're dehydrated, it's going to impair your performance. So just avoid that. Number six is not to neglect the little things. Um, these things may seem small, but they can be a huge distraction and mess with you. Um, these are things like tying your shoe properly so they're not coming loose during the race and you have to pull over and uh, tie your shoes again. Um, cut your toenails. I've, I've had many races where I run and I take off my sock and I had pain the whole time and a, a toenails cutting into the other toe. Um, dumb things like that. Um, if you got a you know, GPS watch, make sure it's charged. Nothing's more stressful than having that low battery signal come on uh, in the middle of the race, wondering if it's going to save your run or not. So these things might seem like they're really small, but they can be a huge distraction when you're running if they're bothering you. Tip number seven is to utilize music. Now, I know a lot of running purists look down on this. Um, sometimes it's not allowed in certain types of races, but if you're just an average person running a 5K, sometimes having some music can help you. If you've got some upbeat, up-tempo music, it can help you run at a quicker pace. Um, typically, if you're in that 160 to 180 beat per minute type of music, you're going to do a lot better than a, a slow Kenny G song, something like that. Music can be a powerful motivator. I'm actually going to do another video on that soon, uh, telling you about the power of music when you work out. Number eight is to pace yourself. This is something I've really struggled with over the years. Most races, I kind of move up to the front and I try and stay with the elite runners. And I run really fast, uh, faster than I should. And so midway through the race, people are passing me left and right. Um, so that's something I've learned that I've got to scale back, have a little bit more uh, patience and a little bit more restraint when it comes to running um, so I can finish strong instead of just fizzle out and barely get across the finish line. Reminds me a little bit about some of these movies where they have to exercise restraint and know when to pour it on and when to hold back. Number nine is to mentally prepare. Uh, we always think about our physical preparation for running, but to mentally prepare, see yourself running, visualize. But the best way to do this is to actually be familiar with the course. Now, you can look up on most uh, websites and they'll show you the, an overview of the course, what it's like. But it's really helpful if you can go to the actual course and maybe do a dry run through a, you know, a week before, a couple of days before, just a slow pace. But you can see at least some of the landmarks, know what things to watch out for, especially with the train. If you realize that the last little part, you didn't know it was an uphill uh, that can be a huge uh, benefit for you when you know what to expect on a race course. And number 10, my final tip is to finish strong. Once you get towards the end of the race and you can see the finish line and you can see the fans cheering and all that stuff, um, that's when it's time to turn it on and give it all you got. It's a lot more fun when you've saved a little something in your tank so you can finish strong than when you're just hobbling across the finish line uh, at the very end. So these 10 things might seem like little things, but they can make a big difference, especially when you combine them. 
Um, if any of these areas you haven't done or think you could do better, um, I encourage you to try and apply that and see how that uh, helps you. Also, I'd love to hear from any of you watching this. What are some of your tips, things that have helped you to run a better 5K? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week on the next video.